Why are you here? 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 The Market Oriented Agriculture Program in Northwest Ghana, Moab, Northwest, seeks to support local populations in sustainable agribusiness opportunities, thereby increasing incomes generating jobs and promoting inclusive economic growth. Moab Northwest is jointly funded by the European Union and the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development and embedded within the Regional Ministry of Food and Agriculture, MOFA, in WA, in the Upper West Region of Northwest Ghana. The focus is particularly on smallholder family farms and businesses by promoting sustainable and inclusive improvements in seven agriculture value chains sorghum, rice, soya, groundnuts, mango, cashew, and vegetables through the adoption of good agricultural practices. The use of agricultural demos as an agricultural extension tool is used to produce results that are visible and significant enough to convince farmers to try the new technologies themselves. Almost all the communities that we have mounted demonstrations, most of the farmers, at least eight out of 10 farmers are able to implement what they have learned in the previous year. And we have seen significant number of them getting more yields from their harvest. Agricultural demonstration, demos, are one of the most common features of agricultural extension. Demos are an important tool for enabling farmers to learn firsthand about improved agricultural production practices. Demonstrations as an agricultural extension tool gives farmers the opportunities to practice new methods. Demos, if well presented, helps increase adoption of technologies along the agricultural value chain. The reason why GIZ MOA Northwest adopted this technology dissemination tool is to allow farmers participate in the implementation of already existing and novel technologies. If these technologies are successful, then the likelihood of farmers adopting the technology will increase. Farmer group presence in the district used not to be very good. But upon the MOAP intervention, we have seen that almost every community that we mount a demonstration, more farmers are now willing to join an FBO. And this has helped extension service delivery because reaching farmers with new technologies has been made simpler than it used to be. In 2021, the MOAP Northwest program is working together with communities across 14 districts in Northwest Ghana to implement 80 one-acre community demonstration plots. The distribution of the demonstration plots has been mapped in comparison with those implemented with other communities in 2020. The Market Oriented Agriculture Program over the years have ex extended good agricultural practices to our farmers. Basically through our community demonstration plus where they deploy the use of full days, we use the use of posters and illustrations to further emphasize the importance of adopting good agricultural practices which help maximize yields and profits. This year the program intends to use videos as an extension tool 
to further emphasize the good agricultural practices that have been preached over the years. The use of good agricultural practices are practically demonstrated on these plots and farmers from neighboring communities brought to the sites on farmer field days for a learning experience and a full appreciation of the results of applying good agricultural practices. Good agricultural practices for sorghum. Identify achievable plants in making money through the production and marketing of sorghum. You must know how, where, and to whom to sell your sorghum. Farmer or farmer groups should secure purchase agreements with off-takers prior to cultivating the crop. Purchase quality certified seeds, fertilizers, and when required, pesticides from an approved agricultural inputs dealer shop. Do not buy from a tabletop seller in the marketplace. Conduct germination tests to test for seed viability. More than 80 out of 100 seeds germinating is good. Less than 75 out of 100 seeds germinating is bad. Sorghum grows best in a deep well-drained sandy loam or sandy clay loam soil with a pH of 5.5 to 8.5 and high fertility. Warm moist conditions are favorable with ideally around 750 mm rainfall during the growing period. Land can be cleared manually using a cutlass, hoe or with use of herbicides. Soil can be prepared manually using a hoe or mechanically by animal traction, tractor plowing or ripping. Using a garden line, plant three sorghum seeds per hole at a spacing of 75 cm between rows and 20 cm within rows. Apply two bags 100 kg of NPK fertilizer per acre 10 to 14 days after planting and one bag 50 kg of urea per acre 21 to 24 days after germination. Weed the fields manually or use weedicides. Use pre-emergence weedicides within 24 hours of sowing and post-emergence weedicides based on weed prevalence. Broadcast 4 kg per acre of aflasafe 20 days after germination or before flowering to reduce the incidence of aflatoxins. In case of pest attacks, use an appropriate product. Seek advice from your local agricultural extension agent, plant doctor or an approved agricultural inputs dealer and consider to use a natural pesticide. Example, neem. The use of neem oil and neem cake have proven to be very effective in the fight against pesticides among the common crops grown in the Moab Northwest operational area. And for that matter, the program is recommending its use Always wear personal protective equipment when using agrochemicals in your sorghum farm. Safely dispose of triple rinsed and crushed empty chemical containers by burying or take to an official disposal center for farm plastic waste. Always wash down after spraying and keep personal protective equipment clean at all times. Keeping a notebook for records on your farming operations is very important and will enable you to develop a crop budget and to determine your profits. Undertake selective harvesting as soon as grains attain physiological maturity. Threshing can be done mechanically or manually. Winnow and sort out the sorghum grains to separate foreign materials to prevent disease and insect infestation. Sun dry sorghum on a mat, tarpaulin, or concrete platform for two to three days until the moisture content is 10 to 12% before bagging and storing. Store sorghum in an airy cool space, well protected against insects and animals. Sorghum should be stored in jutes or hessian sacks stacked on wooden pallets and away from the wall. 
transport your sorghum to buying centers using appropriate means. In order to get a good price, sell sorghum through farmer groups. Weigh sorghum using a scale before selling to a prospective buyer.